Gas. This is a mass. Oh, obviously it's a mass man eater. It's the Petrology Hydrate five minute mask. I got it in Pop Sugar and then I use my Origins. I use this first to prime my skin. It's like a skin mask primer. I'm trying. It doesn't look horrible. It really, it's like the hydrating one. I'm gonna go scare my husband and my children. Hi guys, so quick, you saw the clip before of me wearing the mask. I have to say that mask is so good. My skin looks felt looked awesome. It felt super soft. And the next day, when I like after I moisturized and stuff, when I was putting my makeup on, my makeup on went on so well. Um, it's a hydration mask, and I know I lack hydration in some aspects, so which is why and I feel like my face doesn't get as red since then. So it's a really good mask. It's by Patchology. Um, I'm not sure where to find. I don't know if Sephora has it, but like Sephora has. I mean, like, everyone has like hydration masks. So I definitely have to try it. What was nice is when I took it off the, the sheet mask, you don't have to wash your face. That I like being able to take it off and go, and you just kind of go like this and rub a little bit around. But a lot of it is it self absorbs into your skin. The truck is backing up. Um, yeah. So I'm leaving to go get my nails done. I'm 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 very torn and I'm very uh, I'm I'm excited about it. But I'm also kind of upset with myself because it's been a year. I really wanted to grow up my own nails and I, I mean, I don't bite them anymore, which is good, but it's like they get to a certain length and they break and it pisses me off. So I'm like, you know what, Manny, just get your nails done. <laughs> so I'm going to go do that. Hi guys. So today is Saturday and, um, I have a very busy day. I got my nails done. I have a French manicure. My nails aren't long, but I got a French manicure. First French manicure in a year. And I'm so happy. Like, I'm so happy. Anyways, let's get back to my day. We have a very busy day today. I have, I'm gonna sit and relax for the coffee for just a few minutes. I'm gonna do my hair, basically get ready for work, but it's only 11.30. Because I don't have to work until 3.30, but I have a baseball game at one o'clock. My son's first game, the season starts off today. My youngest, my Cameron, um, his first game is today, his pitching debut. Mm -hmm. My babe is pitching. Um, hopefully it does well. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he's only eight. What are the expectations, really? But, so we have that. And then I have to, my 13-year-old is at, at, he's hanging out with friends at another baseball field. So, if Cameron's game isn't over at 2.30, I have to call Patrick and say, start walking home. Because he needs to be ready to go for his game. His game's at five, but I have to work. And my husband is doing something that's really important right now. So I don't know if he'll be back in time. So literally I have to br come home, get dressed for work, have Patrick ready to go and like run him down to the field two hours early, which he's fine with because every, all his friends are down there anyway. So run him down there two hours early for him to stay there and I have to go to work. I mean, it's like, really? But my husband might be back by then, so let's hope. Fingers crossed because, <sighs> busy, busy day of a mom of three boys. Oh. Hey. Come on, Cameron. Here you go, Cam. Cameron.
just, you know, apologize and, and had it uh, behind that. I don't know what it is about that song, but I immediately get into a great mood and I can't stop listening to it. Like I keep hitting repeat. It's bad. And it's so funny because the beginning of that, you know, I heard it from a friend. It's like, that's Ario Speedwagon. That's the song Take It On The Run. That they, they, they kept the riff of that song, but they only used that lyric. It's such a good song. Like, I just can't stop listening to it. So I apologize. I feel like this vlog has not been in the car at all. So I had a doctor appointment this morning, but I technically didn't. I mean, I technically did, but she double booked without, because she has an online booking system, which I love. Um, but she and I booked through email and she double booked. So I was fine with it because I had some errands to run. And I'm like, I'll go back. I'll come back. So I'm going back later. So I went to Target and I did not vlog. I was, I have to show you guys the sh if, 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 a great way to earn gift cards for free is the Shopkick app. If you have not heard of it, it's awesome. It's Shopkick. So it's literally how it sounds, Shopkick. And depending on if you're out and about, whether you're at a grocery store or Target has it all the time, you will... You basically go around this that tells you what to scan and you get points so like I scan some salad dressings and I scan some cat litter and I scan some makeup and I scan some body wash specific brands and you get points and then those points add up and you can get rewards like right now I have a $10 gift card to Sephora but I'm, I'm trying to earn a $25 gift card to Sephora which is six sixty. 500 points I have 6,000 points so and it's just going to stores that you know like if you go to the mall and like hmm, it'll if your Bluetooth is on it'll automatically tell you what's okay oh you're going by this store then um, if you're going by Marshall's oh look the one there you and, and you can and say it's the same thing so you get points just for walking into a store it's called walk-in points Usually it's like 35. Sometimes they have like special deals where you get like a lot of points. But anyways, if you want to earn like gift, um, gift cards for free, basically, like literally you're just, you're, and I have earned gift cards in the past. I've earned a Target gift card. I've earned a Sephora gift card that I've used. So they are valid gift cards. Definitely do it because it's awesome. And it's a great way to, I mean, hello. If it's basically stores trying to get their products out is what it is, but it's great. I mean, it's like a little scavenger hunt in a store. I'm fine with it. I mean, I'll walk by a Yankee Candle. I'll get like 35 points. Rock on. So, definitely um, check that out. It's called Shop Kick. Um, so, I was doing that at Target. So, anyways, I had stuff to do. And I finally, finally, my Target, finally, I'm driving. I'm doing this. It's kind of not good. Had the e.l.f. contouring brush. Not that I contour. Um, but... Like, I'm super excited about this brush. Like, it's very soft. It can go right here. Um, I'm super excited. It had, I always see it on, on, on the website, but I've seen other um, people have it, and I never have it in my Target, ever, ever. And they finally had it, and I was like, yes. And then, of course, I always get my F Elf wipes. Those are like holy grail. Elf wipes and Philosophy Purity wipes. Those are my two wipes that I have, like, ride or die. It's funny. One is drugstore, one is high end. I'm good. I'm good with either or. Although what I will say is if I end up having both, um, I will use just the e.l.f. ones for removing my makeup. And if I might get a super rush and I don't have time to sit there and like really like religiously like wash my face, I'll take the purity wipes and wipe my face. That's because those are like those are more like cleaning wipes than they are makeup remover wipes. So there's that. So, today is a cloudy, gloomy day. Because of my work schedule, for the first time in my kid's life, I'm missing uh, some of their games. I usually go to every single game. The only time I didn't go to games, if, like, I had, if they both had one at the same time, I had to choose which one to go to. So, needless to say, me working part-time, it, it's hurting right now because it, it kills me that I miss their games. Like, I am that parent that wants to go to every single game. So, anyways, long story short, the... What was it? 
Sunday game, which I don't work Sunday. So I was like, yay, I'll be able to get to it. Of course it rains and it gets canceled. And I'm like, seriously, the one game I can go to, it's gonna get rescheduled. Thankfully it got rescheduled for today. I don't work Wednesdays. So I'm like psyched. Guess what it's supposed to do today? It's supposed to rain this afternoon when the game, the game's at 5.45. So I'm like, oh. I'm praying to mother nature, to the weather gods, please don't rain. Please don't rain. I so badly want to see my son play. I've only seen one of his games. This is my son Patrick. I'm so, oh, please, I want to see it so bad because now my luck is it's going to get rescheduled for a day that I'm working. Like, so I'm just like, please, Lord, please, weather gods, whoever, whoever has control over that, please. So there's that. And that's all I have to say. So I'm going to go drop my stuff off at the house. And then I'm going to run and pick up my son. He'll probably have a play date. And then I'll go back to the doctors. And then hopefully it won't rain until tonight. Like 8 o'clock at night. If it doesn't rain. If it rains at 8. I'm fine. Just from like 5 to like 5 to 8. Can we just keep it open please. Please. So. Yes. But yeah. Then we have the baseball game. And then. We have, that's it. I think I'm making beef stew tonight. Something very simple. And that's it. That's it.